All right, welcome back, students. In this video lesson, I want to go ahead and talk to you about calculating frequency for a wave. We've got a sample problem here, so let's go ahead and dive right in and try to solve it. We're going to use the guess method in order to solve this problem, so let's first begin by identifying the given, any information that's provided to us in the problem. So if you read this question carefully, it says, what is the frequency of a wave with a known wavelength of 2.45 times 10 to the fourth? Key words that tell you that you know something is one of them right here, known. So what do you know? You know the wavelength, and that wavelength is 2.45 times 10 to the fourth meters. Let's look for what we don't know, the unknown. That's usually in the form of a question, and that's right here. What is the frequency? So in this problem, right off the bat, we know that we're going to be looking for the frequency, and that's going to be represented by the letter F. And this is going to be equal to something. Now we know that the original equation is the following. We know that the original equation is going to be c is equal to the wavelength multiplied by the frequency. And it's our job then to kind of go through this and rewrite it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and divide by the wavelength to get rid of it. And we're going to do that on both sides. Now if we do this on the right side, that means that the wavelength is going to cancel. And if we do that to the other side, the wavelength comes over here. And so what we wind up getting is the following. We wind up getting the frequency is going to be equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. So this here is the equation that we want to use. So let's go ahead and move this out and let me erase some stuff to make some way here. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this part here and I'm going to go ahead and erase this other part over here. And that's going to under, uh, erase some of the underlines we made but that's okay. So move this over here. That's the working equation now that we're going to have. And so what I want to do is kind of give you some information that you should already have, but just in case you don't, here's the information you need. You need the value for this value right there. And so the value for C is going to be equal to the following. And let me go ahead and change colors here because I want to make sure that we uh, stay consistent. And so here C is going to be equal to 3.00 times 10 to the 8 and this is going to be in meters per second. And so if we have it like this, then what we know is that we're going to have to substitute this value wherever we see the, le the letter C. And inside for the wavelength, this value here for the wavelength, well, simply that there is the information that's provided up here at the very top. That's the wavelength up there. So we just substitute that in there and then we're good to go. So let's go ahead and make this substitution now. So if we do this, we're going to get F is equal to 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And then you're also going to get this divided by the wavelength, which in this case is 2.45. And let's make sure we get these decimals right. Okay, 0.5 times 10 to the 4th. And frequent or wavelength here is going to be represented in meters. Okay. So what winds up happening when you do this, you're going to cancel out the meter unit here and the meter unit there. You're going to wind up with seconds, which is a way that we actually represent frequency as a hertz. And so our final answer here is going to be in hertz. Let's go ahead and get our calculators out, try to plug this into the calculator, and you should come up with the following number. Okay, so that answer there is going to be equal to the following. You're going to wind up getting 12244 decimal eight nine seven there's a little bit more but let's go ahead and stop it there okay and so this is going to wind up being in meters now if you came up to this point you would have gotten the answer right however it's not in the right number of significant figures so what's going to wind up happening is we're going to have deduct some points on a quiz or an exam or homework so what you need to do is kind of look at this number here and provide the right number of significant figures and that number there is going to be three because we only have three significant figures over here at the very end so here in the number 2.45, we've got three significant figures. And in the number up top in the numerator, we've got 3.00. And so that's three significant figures there. So our answer has to be to three significant figures. So what we need to do is convert this entire number to three. So the first three significant figures in our answer is 1, 2, 2. But notice that the number here is actually significantly greater than 1. In fact, we have 12,244. So what we need to do is convert this to scientific notation. And so what we'll do here is we're going to use this number here. We're going to convert it down. We're going to begin with 1, 2, 2, and we're going to put the decimal right where we want it at the 0. And so essentially that would be at the spot right here where the line is. 
And so we count the distance between this spot and where the decimal really is. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Notice how we went in the right direction. So that means that our exponent is going to be positive. So this is going to be times 10 to the number of spaces. And that's four. And so there's our answer there. However, when you do this, you've got to make sure you write down the um, units. And so we'll make sure we write the units down here at the bottom, meters, and this here is the answer for our problem, which means that the frequency for a wave uh, that has a wavelength of 2.45 times 10 to the 4 is going to be 1.22 times 10 to the 4th. Oh, and I actually wrote down meters, so what we're going to do is actually change that. This actually should be in hertz. So the answer there is 1.22 times 10 to the 4 hertz.